Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, decided to make another video for you guys um, uh, in reference to uh, caffeine and the uh, withdrawals that are caused uh, from the uh, uh, the caffeine. Um, you know, a lot of people ask me questions like, you know, does it ever stop? Is there an end to it? Well, there is light at the end of the tunnel. Um, that stuff don't last forever. It's it's you're gonna always go back to your normal state. You are, you will go back to your normal behavior, your normal ways. Um, that stuff doesn't. It's not life lifetime, life term, or whatever however you want to put it. Um, we are all different, and what I mean by that, um, I don't know each individual um, mental state. Okay, in other words, with me. Um, I felt myself to be on a psychological side uh, stable. So if you know that you're a normal person and you've always been normal, basically what happened, you got knocked off your rocker. Okay, so it, it's most likely going to take you approximately about 30, I mean, actually 90 days, at least 30 cycles, three 30 day cycles uh, before you start seeing a greater improvement and what i mean by greater improvement is around 90 days is normally when you really really start getting a grip where you start feeling more normal than you normally would and you start feeling yourself coming back naturally it's the weirdest thing because on the days that you're expecting to feel your worst because you feel like things are not getting better it's normally when you start to feel better um the first signs that the anxiety is starting to fade away is because you're not getting the urges anymore those surges the surge is not there anymore you're not feeling um that 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 wave coming through your body and you feel okay you're feeling anxious all again um those start to fade off you start having more better days you do and what i mean by having more better days is that um, you're not feeling those triggers anymore now, I was getting nervous a lot. Like, I, it was hard for me to walk into Walmart. I couldn't go into the Walmart. I couldn't go into any store that was overwhelmed with size. My tongue is slipping because I got these strips on. I can't get my asses out. Sizes. So, uh, forgive me for that because that's kind of funny. So, anyway. So, I was getting anxiety attacks inside the buildings. And it wasn't good. Um, I really thought something was wrong with me. Um, I, the, what I didn't do, I never went to a doctor. I never did. Um, the worst thing I wanted to hear was worse news than I was already suffering with because I kept thinking something was wrong. And I, I remember exactly when it started. And I said, I never felt this way until I stopped drinking caffeine. Caffeine was the thing that triggered the anxieties and the panic attacks. So by me with, you know, getting off of it and I had, uh, I did it like, you know, cold turkey. Like I just completely just stopped and that wasn't good. And it took me approximately, approximately a little bit over 90 days before I started to really feel happy again. Because you do go through these small cases of depression because the anxiety, they go hand in hand with depression. And the good thing is if you don't suffer from depression and you didn't have, you know, traumatic issues in your path, uh, most likely the depression doesn't sit well because depression try to get you to feel despaired. If that's, you know, a way of saying it. And the anxiety makes you feel anxious, meaning that you're thinking more in the future. And so, so, um, with those feelings, which is not normal for you, they do go away. They do. I, I promise you guys, you know, I know you probably watch a lot of videos, pulling up different people. Um, you probably run up and down to the hospital, go and see the doctor, get told the same thing over and over, get a big medical bill. Um, I fought through it because I knew that had to be the problem because I didn't have mental issues up until that time. So when I had got the guarantee that this is going to last 90 days, I just ran with 90 days. I said, man, if I don't feel back in 90 days, there's, there's a serious problem. 
It, that, that means something's really, really wrong. So I fought through it. And then 90 days, I promise you, 90 days, I don't know what it was about the 90 days, but I totally felt like uh, my, my, myself again, myself. And those ex, those happy moments came back. I was able to create those happy moments for myself. And um, I noticed, you know, um, the symptoms that I was having. Um, I remember when I first had the, the worst, the worst withdrawal that I had was when I, um, I remember going to sleep with my eyes open because my brain was shut down. Well, something wouldn't shut down, but my eyes were still open and I remember sleeping and it was weird, man. It was the weirdest thing. It was like a zombie. I remember I slobbed all over myself. I couldn't stop drooling. Um, the tightness in my neck. I felt the the, the popping in the brain, the the, the ear um, ringing. Uh, man, it was crazy. Um, the ear ringing. I had a lump in my throat. My throat kept getting really, really tight, like really, really tight, like I couldn't breathe. And um, my heart rate palpitation it would it just it was just man i just knew i was gonna have a heart attack at some point but i knew that i was healthy you know like before that happened i knew that i was a healthy person and i didn't have any injuries where i caused problems to my back or anything like that and i was having more back problems than anything i i, I mean it was hard for me to bend because my back stays so tight my shoulders would always lift i didn't know they were lifting they just would lift on their own the tension and um I noticed every time I try to fight to try to figure out what's wrong with me, I would find myself digging a hole for myself, meaning I, it would just spiral down, you know. So what you have to do when that stuff starts happening, you have to, like, just surrender to it. Kind of like say, okay, man, oh, shit, whatever, man. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Your subconscious is against it and your conscious is for it. But you have to go to your spiritual side. You have to dig deep into your spiritual side and say, I'm going to accept whatever's going to happen to me. Because believe it or not, to me, now that I've recovered from it, now that I'm better, um, now that I know those urges are not there anymore, I'm not anxious anymore, my focus is so much better, I came to the conclusion that <clears throat> um, that's what people feel like when they're dying. I feel like that's what we feel before death. It's no matter how much you fight it, you have to surrender to it. And that helps you. I didn't want to speak on death because for those who are watching this video, I don't want y'all mind to start wandering off and start thinking something's going to happen to you because nothing's going to happen to you. I promise you that nothing's going to happen to you. You can look me in the eye, you see. It's nothing's going to happen to you. You guys are going to be okay. And I know you probably, you know, don't want to talk to nobody. Your friends don't know what's wrong with you. You're trying to explain it to them, but you sound crazy because they don't understand. Um, this is why some people go to different things to um, cope with it. Like some people either smoking, um, they start drinking just to help get through it, to cope with it. But believe it or not, the things that you're using to help to cope with it, when you start going through this stuff, this stuff is normally what prolongs it. Um, because, you know, the brain is trying to just balance out. The brain is just trying to come back to the, 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 you know, that balance point. And like anybody knows when you are alcoholic and you go to like detoxing, it takes 90 days. The reason why it takes 90 days, is because that's normally how long it takes for the brain to reset itself. And that's the thing. Like I, I read some of you guys in y'all second month, y'all first month or whatever, give yourself 90 days and look forward to the 90 days. Cause I can guarantee you in 90 days, you will feel better. I can guarantee you in 90 days, it will go away. Ain't no doubt in my mind. If it doesn't go away, I can promise you one thing. That anxiousness is going to go away. You're not going to be anxious anymore. Um, you might have some other little issues that you just feel uncomfortable about because that's how you felt before you start having these issues. And that's something you have to deal with later. But at least you have your mental state back to be able to uh, step up on those um those things that 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 uh, you have to uh, face face up with, um, but I can honestly say that life gets better. Um, you're not by yourself. 
Um, I do respond to all the messages as much as I could. I know I'm talking funny out, but I can't get my S's out because I got this line, this visual line in my mouth. Um, but yeah, um, but you guys are going to be okay. You know, just don't worry, you know, uh, and it's okay. You know, talk to somebody that, that been through it and understand it. Don't try to fight and talk with your parents, uh, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, because if they don't understand it, man, you, they're going to think you crazy. Um, the best thing you can do is make them aware of you having something going on with you, that it's, it is something wrong with you. And it's okay, y'all. It was something wrong with me, too. I just told my girl straight up, it's something wrong with me. I don't know what it is, but it's something wrong with me. And I lost that person because they didn't understand that. And it's okay because, you know, I'm better with her, without her, you know, because I'm in a different, I'm in a different playing field, you know. So, um, if y'all have any questions, you can, you can inbox me on more symptoms if you're curious about the symptoms. But try to not go through that Google and start typing all this stuff in about what you think might be wrong with you because, if you start putting it in your head, you're going to start mentally believing that those are some other issues wrong with you. One friend, once one person told me that I had a, um, what they call that? Cause I had a throat issue. So they said that it was my uh, thyroid and I said, God damn thyroid, I'm th thyroid. Like, man, Oh my God. Like I start freaking out, but I knew that it was a mental game that was being played. I knew it was a mental game and I was up for the challenge. Even though I felt bad some days, man, I really want to talk to somebody. I said, man, I'm just going to fight this out. Because I know this stuff don't last forever. It can't. And a friend of mine has told me, man, just like the clouds in that sun. He said, you know, them clouds, they never stay in one place. You'll never see a cloud stay in one place. They're always moving. And that's how you have to think in your mind that this troubled time, they, they move away. <clears throat> God doesn't allow us to be miserable all our life. We choose to be miserable. But if we had a choice, that's, that's, that's why I'm saying, if you had a choice, that means that you back in your right mind. You have a choice to choose doing better or feeling sorry for yourself. When you're going through what y'all are going through right now with these uh, withdrawals, you can't think for yourself. You can't be rational. You just can't. It's a chemical unbalanced thing. I don't care what nobody says. I'm a strong, strong minded person. Very strong minded. That had nothing to do with it. If you off, you off. You know, them hormones are not settled in, especially for the women. It's much harder because... For those who have menstrual cycles um, every 28 days, they have that to deal with, plus the ups and downs of the uh, withdrawals. So they really have it tougher. But uh, women, being the most emotional creatures on this earth, they're much stronger than men. I mean, honestly, I'm just, I hope I didn't offend anybody, but the women are much stronger. Um, God designed them like that. Uh, men, because we have a level of stress, the expectations are greater. The expectations are a little bit different. We have a, you know, we, we tend to hold maybe three or four things in our head to do. Women can deal with a hundred things in their head to do. So that much more pressure to them doesn't make them disconnect like men would. We we completely disconnect and we lose ourselves when, when we come to this type of level of um, stress. So just remember that you do get better. But you have to say, I need 90 days. You write it down. Just say, okay, 90 days. How long I've been off of this? How long I've been having withdrawals? And you write it down and say, okay, I'm going to give myself three more weeks, two more months, depending on when your 90 days come. And I can bet you with no shadow of a doubt that you will start feeling better. I can promise you that. Um, I know that when I was going through the anxieties, I couldn't talk. I used to gag. I couldn't speak because I couldn't, um, like, Think ahead, like I would talk, but I would, I would be thinking inside my head while I'm talking, and it would make me confused. Or I forget what I was saying because I'm thinking inside my own head and listening to myself talk, and so I could keep a steady conversation. Would I just had rather not say anything? And uh, again, like I said, you know, um, it was it was a, it was a, it was a tough road, man. It really was. But I stayed as positive as I could. Every now and then, it was I was spiraled down a little bit because, you know, if if I was in a bad mood that day and it was happening, then it didn't help. So I just learned how to manage it. I just learned how to manage it. But uh, I drank a lot of water. 
I took the um uh what is that? It's the immune um what they call this. Uh I took one a day. It was for your immune it was uh, airborne. I was taking airborne and that was really helping, man, with the immune system and everything. And that was providing the vitamins and stuff that I needed. Um, my major uh, uh, vitamin that I was taking, uh, which was a capsule, it was called Ash Waganda. I was taking that. Uh, that just basically helped ease me a really, really good. I'll make a video about that later. So, uh, but uh, that's all I have. If you guys got any questions, any more concerns about it, you know, you can feel free to just, you know, inbox me like y'all been doing on the comments. And um, I'll, ret I'll respond uh, when I can and uh try to help guide you guys through this and like i said it's every day is a new day um every day is is is, is a struggle i mean i gotta be honest with you it is a little struggle but i can rest rest assured it goes away and i know you're thinking oh it's, yeah but i'm still having this feeling yesterday i was feeling better now i'm feeling miserable um real quick uh not to, before i forget this um with my withdrawals i noticed i had a pattern I would only I would feel better at a certain time of day. I don't know what it was, but at four o'clock every day I would start feeling better for some reason. And I think it had a lot to do with the melatonin, with the, the sunlight, the the timing of my body, because my body, you know, your body has a timer. So when that when the sun starts to go away, the body starts producing the melatonin, and so the anxiousness and the um, the adrenals. Um, wasn't activated and that's the reason why I was feeling better I found that out later so my thing was getting up in the morning and trying to get through the day with this struggle so there it is you guys feel free to leave a comment thanks